think of it as cold gold. It's from that cold, generally cold part of the world, Bering Sea. Oh, that's the boundary. North Pacific Ocean. Uh, let's see, Aleutian Islands North would be Bering Sea between Alaska and Russia. Uh, between Alaska and Russia. Uh, Bering Sea to the Bering Strait. I think once you're through the Bering Strait, that is Arctic Ocean. So cold gold. Uh, I'm going to drop it in a pan. It's wet, moist. Um, their bags are tight. So what I mean by that is I've done a half gram bag and a one gram bag from uh, Bering Sea Gold Pay Dirt. And the half gram bag was 0.50. The one gram bag was 1.0. It's the only times I've had that happen where it was right on the number and both times it was Bering Sea Gold. So I'm going to open up this Aroika bag, two grams of real Bering Sea Gold guaranteed. I'm going to get it in this pan. Do it wet. I've done it wet before, and then uh, I think the first bag I got from them, they all been or came wet. I um, actually put it in a pan and dried it out. So yeah, that's that's moist material. So I'm going to dump it in here and see if I can do my best to rinse it out. There's quite a bit of it clinging to the bag. Let's see if we can get this done without making a mess. Nope, don't make a mess. Want to be careful with it and go ahead and rinse it best I can because, like I said, their number is usually pretty tight. Whereas Sometimes you'll get, well, oftentimes you'll get from the vendors I use uh, a little bit over. Theirs is pretty snug on the weight. I think we got it. The first two bags were relatively easy. We'll see if this is any different. The two grams of gold in that little pouch of pay dirt there. I am using a relatively new Job pan. Eighteen forty nine, I believe, made in the USA. It's on the bottom. I scuffed it up pretty good and. Got it seasoned. It's got the coarse, already roughed up side here, and then this side with the riffles. I think I wish I'd have got it in blue. I'll tip that back and have a look at it. T 
different looking sand and it is sand it's got a reddish tint to it Bering Sea yeah there's some shiny showing up I'll tell you what I like about it. Generally like I uh, generally like more material, but this I can run it three times in the same pan wet and make sure I get every little bit of gold. So look at that as I fan it just a little. There's quite a bit of pretty gold in there. That is nice to see in one pan, two grams of gold. I got some little pieces floating off down there. But that's okay. They're not going anywhere. I'm going to snuff this up after I rinse a little more sand out of it. And we'll run it back again. Three, four, five times. So I feel good about it. To see how I can hear that sound. Got most of it. I'll tell you what, I don't want to practice anyway. Use that other side. See if I can keep that gold in that pan. Well, that's a good sound, isn't it?
Well, there it is. That's rinsed pretty damn good. I'll double check it and dry it. We'll go through those one more time. We'll see what that total is. I'm going to check that weight first time through. Then we'll see what we got second. Here we are at the moment of truth where the proof is in the pudding. So this Eroica bag, I ran it three times. Cleaned all my snuffers, rinsed everything, double checked everything, rinsed the bag, double checked it. That's the gold. It looked pretty in that pan and it is, it is pretty gold. I will say that. Here we go. I did not miss a speck. You gotta be shitting me, man. No longer is it a coincidence. It is what it is, but that's cool. One thing about that dirt, it's so black sandy, but not heavy. It's easy to rinse and clean. And when you go through it a few times, you know for sure you haven't missed a speck. You can just, it'll stand out if you have. Check this out. Two grams. Two grams on the nuts, man. That's the third time that's happened to me out of like 70 bags. Every time it was Bering Sea Gold Pay Dirt. And that's fine. I'm not bitching. I agreed to and paid a price for two grams guaranteed and it's there. So, hey, and it is nice, pretty gold. I'll give them a thumbs up, man. The guaranteed gold was there. It was a good product. I had some fun with it. It was different. So, hey, having fun, man. Gold prospecting at home. I'm Jeff at Occasional Outlaw. Everybody have a great weekend. Yeah, two grams on the nuts. I said it.